Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another weekly warehouse update. We're gonna start with a pretty exciting section over here, our end of a section. Just got a nice little refresh, we'll call it. We won't call it a full restock, but a little refresh. We're gonna start it off with some Halo stuff. We showed you some of this, but I just saw this beast and I thought it was gorgeous. Halo beast, sneakily overstable. If you're looking for a fun, um, somewhat overstable 10 speed that can beat into a nice Hyzer Flip disc, I'll check out a Halo beast. We also got plenty of Champ and Star Destroyers in stock. We got the Stock Champ. This is like the new Stock Star Stamp. Let me know in the comments what you think of the new Stock Star Stamp. I'm not a huge fan of it. I wish they'd go back to the original. And then somewhere back in here, we got some bottom stamp ones, which the bottom stamp's a fun time. So a lot of different destroyer options on the site right now. And uh, I need you all to throw them because the problem is I can't, oh, we also have some new of the, some of the new end of a champ stamps. Problem is that the destroyer got banned from my bag courtesy of you all after a video, so now I can't throw them, so I just come in every day, feel up the destroyers, think of all the good times I had with it, and I need y'all to take them off the shelf so that I don't have to do that and torture myself. We also have the J. This was the disc I was gonna go to if y'all banned the MD3, but you didn't, but it's a great mid. Really nice, consistently straight. Um, we got them in star as well. Really good feeling disc. Not a lot of people are throwing it. I'm not sure exactly why, because I've always enjoyed it. Um, Got some Robbie C R Pro Pigs. Not actually Robbie C, but you know, I think the R stands for Robbie. Uh, we also got some Rhinos, also Robbie Pro Rhinos. Then we got some, some Road Runners and a bunch of different plastics. Halo Road Runners always feel good. Another sneakily stable disc in the Halo plastic. If you're looking for a good Heiser Flip bomber, the Halo Road Runner. Let's see what else we got as we walk down the It. Can't talk about it without talking about the IT right now. This thing is all the rage. It is my favorite understable distance driver in my bag. I throw rollers with it all the time. I personally carry a star one, um, which has a fun little stamp on it. Uh, I carry a star one, but the champ one's great as well if you want a little bit more stability. And then wrapping it all up on the shelf that's probably the goaded shelf, we got some champ Thunderbirds. This disc will never leave my bag. I absolutely love the Th Thunderbird, T-Bird 3s and T-Birds, good one-two punch. The T-Bird 3, in my opinion, tends to be a little bit straighter than the T-Bird. Um, then we got some sick Halo Rock 3s. I think the one I showed y'all last week got bought up, but we still have this one. This one's uh, Pink 2 on the site right now. Some absolutely incredible, some really good feeling run of Halo as well. And then if you're like the Destroyer is a bit too much disc, but you still want to throw a fast distance driver, check out the Wraith. Nice 11 speed, a little bit flippier than the Destroyer. Nice little step down. Um, this is a really good feeling champ run too of Wraith. So a lot of good Wraiths on the site. And last, but certainly not least by any standard, is the Toro. We got this new not new, but a restock of the Champ, or the Calvin Heimberg Star Toro. Nice concave, really, really good feeling run of Toros. And then of course the Champ ones. If you're looking for a consistent overstable disc, for a while, Innova only offered the Pig, and the Pig can be a little bit too beefy for people, and it's not in premium plastic ever. The Star Toro is the closest they've ever gotten to a zone, and it is money. Ton of fun to throw, so. There's more than what I just went over with Innova. If you're an Innova fan, check the site. We got a lot in stock right now. All right, we're over here on the Trilogy shelf. Look at this, more additions. Shout out, Jason. We've got a bunch of Trilogy. I feel like Trilogy had a few like slower weeks and then they were like, boom, we're, we're throwing a bunch of stuff in there. So first thing, we've got a few molds um, in the Orbit Ice here. We've got the Warship and the Diamond. Warship, one of the straightest mid-ranges out there. Incredibly straight in this amazing Orbit Ice plastic. Now, well, I guess this is VIP Ice uh, Orbit. But yeah, you know how it is. Uh, and then we have the diamond. We actually just got a chance to go throw these and uh, they're actually a little more stable than normal diamonds. So if you found the normal one a little bit unusable, uh, even though I think they're always usable, this one might be the one for you. Diamond is incredible if you have not thrown them yet. Flippiest disc ever made, best thing ever. We only have two of these left, but these are her awesome stamp. These are Matteo Tournament Orbit Otties. Uh, they're a fairway driver. I think they're supposed to be uh, straight with a bit of overstability at the end. And I mean, look at that stamp. One of the what are really nice stamps there with the fish. What kind of fish is that, Sauce? That is a bass. Is it a bass or is it a trout? It's J a trout. Jason, are you saying trout? Oh, it's a bass. Bass or trout? I'll say bass. He says bass? Uh-huh. I have no idea. I have no idea. I wish Connor was here right now. Um, all right, and then we have the Tursus. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see some of these colors. Uh, a slightly understable mid that just came out in Tournament Orbit. They're just going to town. I mean, look at these, the colors we're getting out of these things. They're just awesome. 
so many different combinations. Uh, some other discs we got here. We got some more Orbit stuff. These are Ty Love um, Trespasses and Fusion Orbit. Really cool what they did with the stamp. They kind of like almost over stamped it, I guess. Well, not really, because they had to do that. I don't know. But the Trespass is a really, really good mold. These things are distance bombers. Straight out of the box, you can usually get a tiny bit of flip out of them, and they just go super, super far. But one of the one of the cleanest stamps we've got here right now is the yarn from Castaplast. It's just like the K stamp, and they're all white like this. I think this is such a clean look. I think their logo is really cool. The yarn is an overstable approach disc. I would describe it as like a slightly faster zone. Uh, it, it has a lot of overstability. You could rip into it, but it might go a little further. It's a little bit wider in diameter, in my opinion, but just a super clean disc right there. Uh, some other notable things here. We've got some uh, VIP Air Bears, the Air Bears. That's fun. Uh, really nice fairway driver in this plastic. They probably go very straight. We've got more of these uh, I'm a Fuse stamps. I think there's a story behind these that... Uh, the latitude guy like wrote this and they turned it into a stamp and there you have it so if you're a fan of the fume the fume the fuse then that's for you uh oh really cool disc here we've got the this is the colt montgomery uh, zeta's moon cd1 so this is a signature series disc for colt montgomery these cd1s we threw yesterday as well really nice hyzer flip fairway they they pop up pretty easily and glide a ton these are actually very good i feel like they'll get a little passed over because a lot of people throw the fd but these things are a little bit faster and i think they have just as much glide they are they are incredible uh, and then last but not least here another disc that's new here with a cool stamp these are macy villa diaz uh fluid so that is like their softer plastic and i believe these are verdicts or justices, yeah. Uh, so these are the, the justices is a crazy, crazy overstable approach disc. These things are in, insanely overstable. And this fluid plastic is like gummy soft. If you have ever thrown like Z Flex from Discraft, I think this is even softer than that. Like this stuff, if you like soft plastic, this disc is incredibly gummy. And which is kind of nice because it'll probably help it stick around the greens because these things can get skippy in the uh, stiffer plastics. But yeah, that's everything that's going on in Trilogy. Um, Pretty hype week for Trilogy, so make sure to check out the collection. Exciting news, we got Elevation Discs back in stock. It's been a while. Every time we get it in, y'all sell it out. Um, if you don't know what Elevation Disc is, so this is their Koi, I do believe. This is in part of their recycled plastic. It's like the gummiest plastic on the market. Um, it's kind of like, a, I believe it's a rubber plastic. You see what I'm saying? So basically, hits, sticks, you can throw it. Uh, it, it just isn't gonna really get skips, isn't really gonna roll that much, isn't gonna, it's gonna catch chains. That's kind of what they're designed to do. There's different levels of grippiness. So the Koi is, this is one of their softer, not their softest. I forget what this plastic's called. This might be the EcoFlex, or the, the EcoFlex EcoFlop is their recycled ones. Um, so the Koi's back in stock. We also, moving down, have the Binks, which is their one of their drivers. This is actually sneakily overstable. Um, now this is in a really gummy one, uh, plastic wise. It does take a little bit of a learning curve getting used to throw them, but once I was able to get used to it, uh, when we were doing our review of it back in the day, I was actually able to get some really good flights out of it, surprisingly. I thought, I thought I was gonna hate it, and I, w I wouldn't put it in my bag to be fully transparent because that's not for me, but if it is for you, it's throwable. I was able to get some really good flights out of it. And we do have some other plastics as well. This is the Eco ones. This is a lot stiffer of a plastic, so if you've tried the, the normal Binks and you like the flight, but you were like, man, I wish it was just a little stiffer, that's what this one is. Um, and then as we move down, the Arowana, this isn't a new plastic. It's kind of like got some clearness to it. It's hard to see on camera. It's even hard to see in person, but like this part's kind of clear, and it's a completely different feel, but it still has that, that gumminess to it. So the Arowana's back, and like I said, we, we have it in their other plastics as well. So this is, again, a more stiffer plastic here. So this one, it feels a lot more just like a normal putter uh, rim wise, but you still have that give to it. So interesting one there. And then this was their original one, the Interceptor. This is the floppiest one. I think this is Eco Flex maybe, um, if I'm not mistaken. But the Interceptor is an overstable approach disc. And then you can get it in this one's a little bit more uh, stiffer. So you have the really, really, really flimsy one and then a little bit stiffer one. Um, Still, both are going to do the exact same thing, though, of hit and stick. And then we have a brand new disc from them, the Gecko, which is in that little bit stiffer plastic. It feels, comparing it to the Binks, pretty similar. Um, 
maybe a little bit slower. I don't know the flight numbers on these, but decent hand feel. I haven't had a chance to go out and throw it yet. It's got a much stiffer rim than the Binks originally does. So you're able to actually like grip into it and not, you know, bend the disc all the way down. And the interesting part of a driver is if you're throwing spy kaisers and stuff, it, it's gonna hit and stick. Um, and you know, like I said, not really many skip shots. This is a very unique line of discs. It's not for everyone. I'm one of the people it's not for, but I know a lot of people have tried it and absolutely loved it because the people who it is for, people who don't want skip, people who don't want roll away risks, people who you know, want that control of knowing where it's gonna hit and you like a little bit gummier plastic, especially going into cold months, this is really gonna get better and better to be honest with you. Um, people who it is for absolutely freak out over it and love it and we can't keep them on the shelf. So. Pretty much full lineup restock here if you've been waiting to try some of this elevation stuff out. Head over to the site right now. All right, I'm gonna take a little stroll down the MVP aisle. Uh, we have a really nice stock of MVP right now, so I'm just gonna highlight a few molds that I really like that I think you should try out. Uh, number one, the Terra, okay? The Terra is an overstable driver. This is with a, one of the first discs in the James Conrad line. Uh, I guess they considered it his line, but this is an 8503, a nice overstable driver. I find that this driver fits in a really nice spot where it's not like your top end overstable, where you're like Firebirds, your Captain's Raptor, that kind of disc, and MVP would be like, um, I'm not sure, like in Streamline, they have like the Flare and, and discs like that, but it's not quite that overstable. It glides a little bit, but it still has just enough over stability to be like very reliable. You can throw really good forehand flexes, backhands. Um, I think this disc is like pretty unique. I don't think there's a lot of slots. I think a lot of companies cover this slot and I really, really love it. It's a great disc. Um, so that's the Terra. As we keep walking this way, another great disc to highlight here is the Reactor. We have the Reactor right now in both the Fission and the Eclipse Glow. Um, this is a great straight mid. A lot of people are throwing hexes right now from MVP. Sometimes they're hard to get your hands on. They're very popular. If you're looking for something a tick more stable than that, that is the Reactor, but it is also an incredibly glidey straight disc. Um, this disc gets overlooked a lot because of the popularity of the Hex, but if you're looking for something that flies just as straight with just a little more fade at the end, that would be the Reactor. Really, really nice disc. Um, kind of a putter version of that. We have a bunch of proxies in stock right now. One of the straightest throwing putters out there. These things start dead straight and beat into just an incredible hyzer flip disc. They are an amazing approach putter. You can throw these off the tee. You can putt with them. They are a great all around putter. We have a bunch of fun colors in these right now. All the different swirls and combinations. Um, and one last disc that I will highlight is of course the Envy because we have a really nice stock of these right now and a lot of fun. I mean, look at the colors we got in these right now. Unbelievable. I'll just keep going back here because I mean, holy cow, the variety of these we have right now is insane. If you have not thrown the Envy yet, I, I would say it's probably a top three throwing putter of all time. These things are very nice and reliable. They're fast. You can get a ton of distance out of these. Uh, you got to be prepared for these to go far. Like I always use them as a driving putter and then I'd be like, oh, that went way further than I expected. It like takes them getting used to. That's how far they go. And they're super stable at the end, but the way they fade, it's not like they just dump left. They just slowly move left at the end of the flight and it is a really special disc. So if you haven't tried the MV, we have a ton in stock right now. We've got premium ones, we got baseline ones. I mean, we have just, the, we got these awesome, uh, prism ones where like the outside of the rim is a cool fun little color i mean there is just so many colors to be had in the mvp section make sure to check it out all right we're gonna run down this discraft aisle real quick we got a lot of fun discraft in stock first off i just i wasn't even going to talk about the buzz but i saw this gorgeous purple and yellow Big Z Buzz. Big Z Buzz used to be my buzz of choice when I was a buzz thrower. I absolutely loved the Big Z. A lot of people talk about ESP and Z. Not enough people talk about the Big Z. You also have the fun big buzz stamp on there. I don't know why more people aren't throwing Big Z. Uh, the Banger GT used to be synonymous with me. I unfortunately don't throw it right now, but maybe I should put it back in. It's very, very comfortable disc. As we walk down the aisle, we got to stop by the zones because we still have a few very sick jawbreaker zones in stock. And when I say a few, I mean literally these two. Um, this blue and this purple one. We also got some sick ESP zones, the most underrated zone on the market. Trevor and I both absolutely love ESP zones. If you want something a little bit straighter for an approach disc, check out the ESP zone. And then if you're looking for really over stability, a nice 
Stiff Rim Z Force. These are basically crystal forces. Um, they're, they're a great run of forces. All of them feel pretty overstable. I know forces can at times have a little bit of understability to them, um, but that's not how these feel. So Force is a great disc. And then I passed it, but I always talk about this disc and it doesn't catch on for some reason, the crank. The crank is what so many of you, it'll fly for you like a Force and nukes fly for pros. Um, if you're trying to step up your distance, you're throwing 350, 370-ish, and you really want to get closer to that 400-foot mark, stop tr trying to throw the force, stop trying to throw the nuke, pick up a crank. Uh, you'll be able to either hyzer flip it or throw it flat and get full turns out of it if you're throwing that distance. It's a great forehand disc. I absolutely love the crank. We also, if you want it a little bit more overstable, you can get it in the Z. And if you're not quite throwing that distance, but you want what I'm talking about, they also offer a crank SS. So if you're throwing closer to like the 300, 320, pick up the crank SS instead. And the same thing will apply hyzer flips, full flight, um, all around. Just a really good disc that people are ignoring, not talking about. Brody was in town earlier this week. He'll be back next week for the Heiser Club Championships, and he reminded me of the machete. He throws them all the time. Um, he was ripping them on forehands. He has a few in his bag, uh, flex shots. He was doing all kinds of stuff with the machete. It's like basically an 11 speed Firebird. So if you've always thrown like, you know, the Predators, the Raptors, uh, Firebirds, Felons, and you like that overstable slot, but it's not quite comfortable, you wish it was a little faster, check out the machete. I think that could be exactly what you're looking for. A lot of times this, you typically have them in the nine speed slot and you have them in like the 12 or 13 speed slot. Having an 11 speed that's this oversable is not super common. So the machete could be that one that kind of fits that gap for a lot of you. And then we're gonna wrap it up down here with one of the signature discs from Discraft at this point. It's a relatively new disc here lineup, all things considered, which is the Raptor. Um, very, very consistent, overstable disc. It's not like unusably overstable. It's got enough glide that you can get some use out of it. You can even beat it in to be a hyzer flip disc. It'll hold straighter than say Firebirds or like the Predator that Discraft makes or some of those other ones on the market. It'll hold a little bit straighter than that, but you can still lay into it forehand, rip it back in, get really good distance and a consistent flight out of it. So if you haven't yet, maybe you've been scared of the Raptor because of the flight numbers, don't let that scare you away. It's not as uncontrollably overstable as you might think think when you're first looking at this disc, thinking it will be. Once you get your hands on it, it's a much more controllable fairway. Um, kind of in between just nice overstable fairway and that utility slot is where the Raptor lives. So that might be exactly what you're looking for, but we've got plenty of discraft on the site if you're looking for something else as well. Oh, hey guys, um, over here at the accessory shelf. And uh, you know, just a little update, just to remind you what we have over here in the, in the accessories world. Um, we still got these amazing grip sports sacks here got four different colors going on right now. We've got the gradient for foundation here. We've got the pink and the blue, very nice. And then we've also got some Brody Smith themed Get Freaky one and a Dark Horse one. So make sure to check out the sports sacks there. Got to shout out Ripped Revenge as always. If you've never played Ripped Revenge before, this is an amazing card game to make disc golf super fun. It basically, I should explain a little more. I feel like I never do. Basically what happens is you all have cards, you can play them on each other, and it might say something like, you have to throw this next shot left-handed, or you gotta putt with your eyes closed, and that just makes it really fun, and you can like cancel out each other's cards. There's two different iterations of this game, Rip Showdown and Rip Revenge. Both similar, just have some different cards and, and slightly different rules, and then we also came out with these expansion packs uh, called Rip Revenge Evolution. These are like, the idea here is that you have random cards in here. There's certain that are more rare than others and you're trying to collect and build as strong as a deck as possible. If you want to get started in Rip Revenge, a great option here is to get these bundles. Um, you can either just get one deck and that will be all you need, but if you want to get a whole collection here, you can get a bundle that comes with both of the decks, a couple expansion packs, and this awesome handy dandy deck holder. This thing clips onto your bag and then you can carry um, like your different discard piles and whatnot. So Rip Revenge is a great time. I really recommend this if you've never tried it it is so much fun uh, some other things I want to highlight we have these bag patches going on I see a lot of people ask me about these got the foundation one and the bogey bros plus one patch those can go on your velcro spot on your bags um, we still have a few hats in stock um, a lot of people Brody was just wearing this one around a lot so if you saw Brody wearing it we have this one in stock currently there's a few left 
Um, but these are dry fit, like performance material hats, very light, very breathable, super nice. Um, and then some other things I'll shout out. We do have disc dots in stock again. If you've never seen these before, these are a really cool training product where basically you clip these onto a chain on the basket and then it provides you something to aim at and get dialed in with your putt. This is a very helpful tool when putting and these are completely made out of recycled material now. So very nice and sustainable as well. Um, anything else we got over here of interest? Uh, I feel like a lot of people sleep on this, but we do have water bottles that are very nice. Um, these are 32 ounce, very nice. We've got a few different colors. We've got the smoke one there. We've got some red ones, some other colors. Yeah, that's, that's, basically, that's basically the gist of the accessories. Make sure you always check out our accessories collection. We're constantly updating that and adding new fun things that we find we think that people would like. Also, let us know if there's certain accessories that you'd like to, to see on the store, if there's things that you'd be like, oh, I wish I had a foundation branded version of that or something with our designs on it, then yeah, let us know. And, yeah, that's the accessories, and that's gonna do it for this week's weekly warehouse preview. Make sure to check out that huge Innova restock, check out the big trilogy drop as well, and all the other things we talked about, and we will see you next week.